Wow, double digit episodes already. Time sure flies, huh? But speaking of time, I had decided to tell some stories of being a mentor this time, rather than giving my thoughts and all on the systems. So allow me to tell you the tale of why when I got Shiva, I said she was my nemesis. Way, way back in the day, when Mentor was still relatively new, far more people were queuing for roulette, and far more novices probably for extremes. The problem here is twofold. Okay, no, the twofold problem is Ramu. The problem here is onefold. Novices who don't listen. Every run had at least one of them. Okay, no, I'm being too nice. One time I got told to shut up for explaining mechanics. It was the party stack the tank kept killing themselves to, I believe, was the final straw. Anyway, there were so many Shiva runs, and every single one of them was a failure. I definitely am a far better player nowadays, and far better at dealing with a fight like her purely off of general gameplay. I plug this video a lot, but looking back at my old Ultimate footage for that Dragoon video last time, I feel it so much more. My point, though, was I had to put in a lot of focus into making sure I performed while also trying to teach these people. And let me remind people again, I actually did clear this fight synced in A Realm Reborn. So I would try my best. I'd often take a few volumes too while trying to direct and explain all that fun stuff. Yet every single run would end the same way. Vote Abandon. Often I was the only mentor, so it isn't like it was always mentors not wanting to put in effort. It was a group of people who all manually queued for Shiva saying, this isn't working. If you want the mentors doing it, that was Ramu. In my mind though, every single one of these runs boils down to one single player. One player I got in Stormblood who was so bad, so expecting a carry, I nearly entirely gave up on the system. Of course I didn't, it was Ramu fights that made me stop at over 400 clears. But this person? This was a samurai. Allow me to show you their rotation. This is not a joke. I am not doing any hyperbole. I might not be doing exactly what they did, but their rotation was quite literally something like this. Did you catch that? I'm pretty sure anyone with even a passing interest in the game can tell what animations are random AoEs. I'm not talking the ad phase either. The moment the boss was pulled, this is what they did. Every pull, no matter how much I tried to nicely talk to them, call them out, or anything, nothing worked. I could not get this person to even do a basic rotation. How was I supposed to explain to this person, hey, you also need to do the mechanics that they were also not doing? This player was the pinnacle of what doing extremes in roulette can put you through unwilling to do anything but harm the team. Of course, they alone weren't what failed the duty, but even one player doing this is a huge disadvantage. Even just being a body for the stack mechanic is a huge benefit, rather than just dead half the time. So when I think of the many, many Shiva fails I went through, I think of this samurai in specific, and of course, anytime I see it again. However, there were still the good runs. Well, run in this case. I remember a fellow mentor, Nabi Yang. Thanks to them and their tanking, I had my smoothest Shiva run ever. They knew how to do the fight perfectly. Every movement calculated and could keep going as long as needed. Well, so long as we all didn't die. That's the opposite end of the spectrum. The runs that go so well that they're just as memorable. I wish these were more common, or at least the more neutral runs. I don't need every run to be a god tier run, I just need a run where people are working to win. So far though, all the extremes in this series have felt like that. Sure, there were some obvious weak links here and there, but nothing to the level of that samurai. I just hope that continues. This is why people have the thoughts on extremes in Mentor they do though. That samurai is potentially the worst I've had, but they're not an isolated incident. I have many Ramu stories I can tell, some titans, leviathans, it was a very common occurrence back then. I've already said that there are definitely bad mentors. I've said that many times no matter what roulette you do, even those outside of mentor roulette, you should have to deal with the hand you were dealt. Yet when people talk about mentors who don't try for extremes, have you ever asked yourself how many duties they got where they were the only one trying? Because when it comes to 
just extreme trials within those 400 something cleared runs i had dozens of runs i don't agree with these people giving up and still queuing for the roulette but you're a fool if you can't understand why they did a short little bit of a few stories and even got to sneak in some opinions there please rate comment subscribe patreon check my links below all that good stuff i tried to make this one a bit of a special episode for a few reasons so i hope this duty list ends up being good because, oh boy, there's only so much I could do with the duties I get given. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded any of these. Oops. But uh, I want to just do some white mage and go spam holy on stuff. Oh! Oh no, this dragoon. They're not AOEing. You also, you're not supposed to tank this one in the middle. You're supposed to tank it, like, right there. See that spot right there where my mouse is? Tank the boss right there. Nope, not even going to say anything? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, good start. Imagine being a you don't play, pay my sub player. Imagine being someone who would legitimately say that. Getting a lot of level 60 dungeons. Oh, no. Oh, they actually did respond. So. And that's a spin. Whoosh. And knockback. Yep. I'm so glad I know all these mechanics. Uh, one more. Oh, no. Oh. I don't even remember what these pillars do. Like, what do these pillars even do? I don't remember. That was perfectly timed, holy crap. Why are you going so far north? Top everyone off since that's a free GCD. See, that's a good time to use Medica 2. I literally can't do anything else. I forgot it's those stonefall circles. I was waiting for the I'm waiting for one to appear here. Like, no, they're all already there already there. There. That's a good time to Medica 2. There's a lit everyone needs healing, even if it's only a tiny tiny bit. And it was freebie. Let's play some Reaper. I haven't done enough Reaper yet. I like Reaper. Wait on cue! Oh no, how do I play Reaper? Eh, I'll remember. Oh, I don't have Soul So. Oh no. Oh! Ow! So, I bet you're wondering how I got here. Well, it's a long story. It goes a little something like this. Oh no.
<laughs> Delayed reaction. That was fun. No, you're not supposed to stand in that. You're not supposed to stand in that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Snarf, snarf. Okay, no, it's normal mode. I was expecting far more. I got three comms out of that, really? And one more Reaper. It's a tree! Why Why did they use Medica 2? Why? 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 <laughs> I'm gonna do one more duty. But I'm not gonna do it on Reaper, I'm gonna do... <sighs> I'll do one duty on Scholar just for you all to see me suffer. Because I don't like... Oh, it's something easy anyway. Well, it might not be. It could be Golg. It could be Mount Golg. Oh, Gimlet Dark. Honestly, that's not too bad. Did they, uh, bu, uh, uh. Well, hey, three comms. Nice. Alright, now we're on a different day. It's 11.45 a.m. I've missed getting a legendary fish. So that means I should suffer in Menta Roulette. Oh no, what happened? Oh god. They had not even passed the first group of enemies? Oh, I don't even have Art of War. Oh my god. What am I even gonna do? This this looks fine. Okay, so it seems like the healer saw Stone Vigil and noped out immediately. Cause this is fine. This this this, this is fine. I never noticed Carby has animations for healing. I mean that that makes sense, but like, look at him wiggle. Look look at him wiggle like that. Look at him wiggle like that. Look at them Carby wiggles. Oh, that was easy. No comms. Yep. Alright, sure. I was just here. Oh no, the tank's not AOEing. Okay, this is what I was expecting last time. Well, I'm trying to teach them, but... Oh my god, this is bad. So, good news. The tank was listening to advice, they were receptive. Bad news, I go AFK here because of an emergency phone call. I had to leave the duty at this point for what ended up being a false alarm. Of course, when you get such a phone call, you don't wait to react, you just go. So in the spreadsheet, this is going to be marked as a failure. By technical accounts, it is a failure because I left, but I mean, I didn't have much of a choice at the time. It was going fine, that per the, the, the tank was learning, but stuff happens. So let's suffer. I'm going to suffer for, you know, needing to deal with real life. I didn't do anything wrong. Sure, let's suffer. Waiting on cue. Oh. Oh, deary dear. Oh, dear.
Oh, someone know knows who I am. For a second, I thought he wasn't gonna turn the boss away, cause that's this kind of run at this point. Let's go again. Hopefully not Praetorium. Why are they spamming the same move over and over? Oh hey! Forward and back and then forward and back and then go forward and back then put one foot forward Where where are you going? Where where are you going? Where are you going? What why are you what are you doing? That was not helpful at the slightest. Running with the enemies to a wall was not helpful in the slightest. Really? Yeah, imagine. Imagine being that terrible. Dragon Song reprise clear? No. Zero out of ten. Oh no. How do I do the 90 rotation? How, how, how do I do the 90 I How do I do the 90 rotation? Oh. No! That was stupid. Whoops. How am I top DPS? I don't even know. I'm doing terribly. Eh. Despite that sage, I'm gonna go sage. Oh, my favorite dungeon! No, it's off-centered now. Why'd you do that? No! No! Because now the angles are really weird. To clarify, this is one of the bosses that really emphasizes wanting to pull bosses to the middle of the arena for mechanics. Because of its 90 degree cones, in the middle of the arena makes every section equally as large, giving you more room to dodge on all sides. While it isn't that bad here, for bosses like the second boss of the Temple of the Fist, it's a lot more annoying to have it pulled out of center. And they're not AoEing still. Well, yep, nope. <gasps> I wanted Icarus. Alright, it's only three o'clock, so I got time for more. Oh no. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. Okay, this is going to be a really smooth run. <laughs> this is going to be extremely smooth. Holy crap. Oh, did they just dual cast a for fire? Let's do one samurai. I should have expected. No, I had to kill it! So, if you somehow don't know, in this guild test you must kill all five enemies at about the same time. If you do not kill them all at once, they will begin to revive. You must kill them all at the same time. The Conjurer, who isn't a white mage, a Conjurer, who was not healing the tank and was not paying attention, kept killing the enemies. They are the one who kept killing the enemies over and over. So I would like to point out how long we spent in this duty. Here's the timer. It took us that long to do what is otherwise a two minute long duty. Oh my god! Alright! Oh no, there's an S rank, but I'm in the middle of this. 
Oh no, what did I just walk into? All right. Oh. Wait, what? This isn't even... This isn't even extreme. Oh, why'd you do that? Wow, look at Kyle's hitbox. It's so tiny. Oh, they're dead. Bye. Why did I get that in progress? What happened that first run? Oh, what happened here? What? Uh, I don't think either of them know what happened either. Welcome to the ship of Theseus. <laughs> Can I take your order? Let's do Viper. That is not Viper, that is Ninja. Eh, mech. Oh, boy. Well. Oh, God, right. Gerada South. No, what are you doing? That's a super wipe. Okay, that is a super wipe. That is a super wipe. Oh, come on, dude. Why are you pulling? You don't even know how to do this fight. Worry about yourself. Yeah, he's not even trying to split the ads. You... They're trying to throw. These tanks don't even want to try. Don't break the rocks. Immediately starts to break the rocks. Well, at least it's actually an easy one. What? And let's remember the other tanking rules. Never try to fight your other tank for aggro. Your teammates, not competitors. Also, never face bosses towards the party like this guy is doing. Yes, sideways like this is toward the party. You win. Oh no. Please don't kill the turtle. The black mage was trying to ruin it. Casting sleep does not help. Ooh, copper bell hard. Wow. <laughs> well, oh God, this boss. Oh. I did not know that those fire puddles explode bombs instantly. Okay, I guess I will be feeding the wormy. Okay, cool. That wasn't my fault. And so that clears episode 10 of Menta Roulette. And as we cross over the 150 duty mark, I put the series on hiatus. As we already know, Dawn Trail is right around the corner. There's a few specific things I want to get done before the expansion hits, and I don't know how much time I have to commit to anything but those projects. 
Time really bit me in the ass here, and the fact it's been a few weeks since episode 9 should prove that. So if you see an episode 11 before Dawn Trail, then awesome, but don't expect one sadly. I'm going to be working hard regardless, and we'll see what I get done in that time. But once it launches, it's 1 to 100 guides until we're done. I'll be back to it when we're done. Likely will be mostly Dawn Trail duties for a while, but I've already shown this plenty of dumb stuff that happens in Endwalker duties. Take care, and may the power of Anne Anidhog slay waste to your enemies.